The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you find this video and podcast helpful. If you need some help, please feel free to call us at 515-207-2006. We offer free consultations in many areas of law, and we have several geographic locations for your convenience. We serve all of Iowa. We're also happy to meet with you and provide most legal services virtually without requiring you to leave your home. Enjoy the video. Hello, I'm Gene Nassif, an attorney at O'Flaherty Law. My practice areas include business and transactional matters, uh, landlord-tenant issues, as well as some family law. Now, today we are going to talk about inherited or gifted farmland in Iowa divorces. Divorce in and of itself is difficult, but if you and your family have a farm, it can be especially difficult. Courts handling Iowa divorce matters make an equitable division of all property except inherited property or gifts received by one party. Gifted or inherited property, what we often see with farms in Iowa, is considered non-marital as an asset unless setting aside the property would be inequitable to the other party. The Iowa Supreme Court has established several factors to determine whether gifted or inherited property should be divided. These factors are whether the party whether the parties both contributed towards the care, preservation, or improvement of the property, whether there was a close relationship between the donor donor testator and the spouse, whether the separate contributions were made by both parties to preserve the economic welfare of the property, whether either party has special needs, whether it could be plainly unfair to one spouse or a child to set aside the property to benefit the other spouse. These factors, should they be met, a court may choose to divide the property as marital assets. We see this in the case of mar- uh, in re marriage of um, An- Antonine. In this case, the court reviewed the above factors and determined that gifted farm property the husband had was divisible as marriage assets. The court considered the length of the marriage, the contributions made to the wife, uh, her labor and her time for taking care of the farm, and the debt that existed on the property in making their decision. The court noted that the wife had contributed to the improvement of the property, helped uh, around the farm by uh, planting and harvesting, helped with the livestock chores, and doing bookkeeping and marketing for the farm itself. Because the wife had contributed like this, the gifted land was divisible as marriage assets. Before any decisions are made as to the division of a farm, a valuation must first be done. The court will need to understand and account for the value of the land, any structures on the land, livestock, farm equipment, crops, vehicles, and any other assets associated with the uh, farm operation. Any depreciation and contract valuations will also be considered. Generally, courts will rarely divide up a a farm in the divorce process. It's in the interest of all parties involved not to split or otherwise break up the farmland, as it would significantly harm the business and its value. In most most cases, one spouse will keep the farm and the other will receive a large portion of other marital assets. Other options, including mortgaging the farm, are also available in an effort to keep the farmland together while dividing assets. As always, if you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to our firm. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Hello again, this is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you enjoyed this video and podcast. If you did, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to our channel. If you need legal help in this or any other area of law, please do not hesitate to reach out and schedule a consultation. Most consultations are free and all can be conducted remotely if you'd like. Please email us, book online, or call us at 515-207-2006. We have many locations for your convenience. We serve all of Iowa. Thank you again for watching.